job was very important to lots of our friends, Eddie. And in light of all this... And Johnny would never talk. Of course not. You and I, we know it. But our friends, they don't know it. For their peace of mind, they like to have everybody present and accounted for. Otherwise, they get nervous. Eddie, somebody's got to find him fast. And you're the only one who can do it. Oh, Sid, I told you before, Alice is waiting for me. This is such a bad time. Do you want to tell me your brother's life isn't important? To you, to Mama, to me? Eddie, I know this isn't an easy thing you have to do. But I've stalled our friends as long as I could. Now they're ready to jump the gun. The only thing to make them hold still is for me to tell them that you're going after Johnny. Well, suppose I find him. What happens then? Simple. Get him to leave the country. Wherever he goes, we'll make him and his wife comfortable. But you've got to work faster than fast. Suppose I don't find him. Eddie, you've got to. For Johnny's sake. <laughs> That wife of his must be off her rocker to talk him into crazy ideas like that. I'm not worried about Johnny. But maybe she's giving him religion. You've got to find him and put some sense into his head. Remind him he can't hide away forever. He'll listen to you and leave the country. It's the only intelligent thing to be done. That way, nobody gets hurt. Agree? Oh. Where do I start looking? That I leave to you. I've got one suggestion. Why not start with the girl's brother? He might give us a lead as to where they are. Here's 10,000 to see that Johnny and his bride get away in luxury. Here's the dope on Malik's, where he lives, works, eats, etc., etc. Here's your plane ticket for New York. You leave Miami in 20 minutes. You and me. We know the family comes first. But work fast. I want to help Johnny. I know you do, too. Good luck. Goodbye, sir. And God bless you.